What's going on gardeners? It's Sunday, August 29th, and it is a brutally hot and humid day here on the southeastern coast of North Carolina. Today, I'm gonna to share with you four tips and tricks that will keep birds off your fruit trees and off of the fruiting vegetables in your garden. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated. Nothing is more painful as a gardener than waiting all year for a fruit tree or for your vegetable crop to finally come in and everything is looking beautiful. It looks like you're going to have a great harvest and right as things are turning ripe, birds come in and they peck all of your fruits to death and completely destroy them. It's debilitating, it's demoralizing, and sometimes it just makes you wanna quit. And in order to combat these issues, you have to understand why birds are attacking your fruits because it may not be for the reasons that you think. Many people think that birds are attacking their fruits because they're hungry, but the truth of the matter is birds overwhelmingly attack your fruits because they are thirsty and they need a water source. This is why bird damage tends to be worse in areas that have hot, dry summers. So if you live in inland areas, especially out west, where it doesn't rain a lot or at all during the summer, it is not uncommon for fruit trees to be completely decimated by birds desperate for seeking water. So when it comes to protecting your fruits and vegetables from bird damage, the number one thing you want to have is a clean source of water that is readily available for birds. I like keeping a bird bath in my yard. The most important thing to remember is that birds are lazy. If you give them a clean source of water, they're not going to go through the trouble and the risk of pecking fruits looking for water. They much rather drink from a bird bath. However, you must make sure to keep the bird bath full of clean water at all times. You can't let it dry out and you can't let the water get dirty or else they will not want to bathe in it or drink it. When it comes to placement of the bird bath, you want to make sure that it is placed in a location that is easily accessible from your garden. You don't want to keep it too far away. You want the birds that are landing around your garden to say, hey, I'm not going to peck at these tomatoes or at these figs or at these apples or peaches because there's a bird bath right there. You want to make sure that bird bath is easily accessible and visible from the garden. Don't hide it, keep it out in the open. The second tip that I'm going to give you to keep birds off of your fruits and vegetables is to install a bird feeder in your yard. While most birds will, like I previously said, be pecking at your fruits for water, some of them do want food. But here's the important thing to understand. Fruits by weight are about 75 to 80% water and what nutrients in it is very low. Fruits really only contain fruit sugar and vitamin C and a little bit of beta carotene. They don't contain a lot of nutrition. So birds are not going to waste their time eating fruits unless they have no other option as a source of calories. You want to provide them nuts and seeds because they are very calorie dense. They contain very little water and they contain a lot of trace vitamins and minerals and fatty acids. Birds consume a ton of calories by flying and little bits of fruit sugar isn't as good for them when they can have these high calorie nuts and seeds right here. Just make sure you give them a nice big generous bird feeder, make it very easily accessible and visible for them. Get one that's bright yellow like this so they can see it. Don't hide it from the birds, put it in a wide open area so they choose this easy convenient source of food instead of pecking at your fruits and vegetables. I saw firsthand just how effective this method is several years ago when I lived in a town called Conshohocken, Pennsylvania. I lived in a row home and the row homes were all clustered together and I had an elevated second story roof deck and on that I grew all of my tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, and other vegetables. The decks were only about maybe five to ten feet apart. Uh, there were a group of girls that were renting the row home next to me and they put out these bird feeders and I thought, oh no, they're going to attract all these birds and they're going to peck the life out of my tomatoes and peppers. Well, guess what happened? After they put out that bird feeder, I never ever had a bird land on my deck or peck another fruit because they had this great source of food right over there that they could see from all of my pepper and tomato plants. Why would they eat low calorie density fruits when they can have that high calorie density feed just sitting there for them? That's the way you have to think when it comes to birds. The third tip I want to give you for keeping birds off your fruits is to keep your fruit trees as low to the ground as possible. There's a reason why I'm espaliering all of my figs to keep them very low to the ground. It's not just for my ease of access, it's also to keep birds and squirrels off. 
The reason why keeping fruit trees pruned and trellised very low to the ground will keep birds off is because birds feel very insecure sitting very low to the ground. All the predators that will attack birds are on the ground. So if you have these large fruit trees that are very high off the ground, birds are going to feel very comfortable perching and nesting very high up off the ground. They feel safe. If you keep your fruit trees very low by trellising them or planting dwarf varieties or keeping them pruned very low to the ground, there's no way a bird is going to land this low to the ground because a cat could get them. A cat could easily jump this high. So remember that. The lower you keep your fruit trees, the less chance of them being raided by birds or squirrels are because those kind of animals, they don't like being low to the ground. And the fourth and final tip I want to give you for keeping birds off of your fruits is to bag them in green organza bags. These organza bags, they're green. I have them linked in my Amazon storefront in the video description. They come in varying shapes and sizes that you can size based on the size of the fruits that you're growing. The reason why these are so effective is not only because the netting itself is a deterrent for the birds, but also the green color acts as a camouflage. There's a reason why birds are attracted to brightly colored fruits. That indicates that they are ripe and full of sweet juices. They know that when they are green that they don't have a lot of water and they don't have a high sugar content so it's not worth their time for them to go ahead and attack the fruits. If you cover them in this green bag it camouflages that that color change that you see and that helps hide the fruits from the birds. So they may never find them and if they do the netting itself is a deterrent. I have never suffered any bird damage from any fruit that I put inside an organza bag. So I strongly recommend giving these a shot. Again they're linked in my Amazon storefront in the video description. They're very cheap. Using those four tips you can substantially decrease if not completely eliminate bird damage in your garden. Now remember none of these may be 100% foolproof. You may still have the odd fruit or vegetable pecked for water or for food here and there, but overwhelmingly if you apply these four techniques you will drastically cut the amount of damaged fruit and really hedge your bets against loss. So everybody I sure hope you found this video helpful. If you did please make sure to hit that like button and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please subscribe for future updates and more videos like these. If you're curious about any of the products I use in my garden they're all linked in the video description in my Amazon storefront. Also check out my spread shop in the uh, video description for custom made merch. Thanks again so much for watching and we hope to see all of you again on the next video. We're visiting the neighbors and helping them water while they're on vacation. Oh no! Oh no! Mr. Rabbit! Damn! That's the dreaded Peter Rabbit! The evil Peter Rabbit! Dale, I can see the look in your eyes. The hound dog is on the hunt. Bum, bum.